Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. An image carousel is a slideshow of images that users can select by clicking a button that directs them forward or backwards in the slideshow. In this report, we can see there is a carousel of images, buttons, a search bar, and a details button. For the search bar, I have created a separate video. Click on the above card to watch the video. If we click on the details, it will browse to a new page. I also have another sheet for more details, by pressing on the back button it will go back to the landing page. Let us see each of them one by one. I have three pages in this report. The landing page, overview, and details. Each hidden page has a back button, once clicked it should go to the previous page. Now let us add the custom visual image carousel to the Power BI desktop. I have already added the visual, but let me show you how to add it again. Click on three dots in the visualization section and select get more visuals. Or we can go to insert and select more visuals from the app source. Once selected all the custom visuals will appear. Search for the image carousel. For more information on the pros and cons, please check the description given with the examples. This custom visual supports external resources as well, which is great. We can even get images from any website and add them to the image carousel. Alright, let's click on add to add this visual to the Power BI desktop. As I already have this visual added, if any new updates are available then it will ask us to update it you will see a pop-up of successful import. Click on OK. We can see the visual is added successfully. I have added a background layout to the report which is created using PowerPoint. I have already created a video of this previously, you can watch it by clicking on the above card. Let me show the PowerPoint slide created for this, once exported as SVG we can import it into the Power BI desktop. Now let us see, how to add a button for the details tab. Just click on the insert and select button and then select a blank button. We can customize the default, on hover, on selected looks in the style option. There are a lot of customizations available like shadows, border, fill and much more. The same goes for other buttons as well. The search box is also a custom visual known as text search slicer. For this, I have created a video and added a link in the description. Alright, now let us see how to create this image carousel. We should have image URLs in our dataset to be used here. As we can see in the dataset all the image URLs are available for each product. We can set the data category as image URL. But if we don't specify the category also this custom visual can detect the images, which is quite remarkable. Now let me go back and show how to use this visual to show the image carousel. First, add this visual and select your image URL field in the image field. Please note that this visual only displays the slideshow of images, it can't be used to add other fields. Once added, we can see the image slideshow has started. If I uncategorize the data category, the image slideshow will work without any issues. Let me remove and add the visual again so that we will get sure that it will work without categorizing the data as well. And it works.
Now let us see the customizations available on this custom visual. And it's only simple properties like the interval, auto slide, and the zoom on hover. Very few customizations are available, which is a disadvantage, but we have only one choice. We need to manage with this visual itself. We can increase the image count to show multiple images at once. We can disable the auto slide and choose manual slide the images with the arrow buttons. Also, we can disable the zoom on hover. General settings are the same as usual for any visual we have. We can disable the title and disable the background, header icons, and tooltips. Let me enable the auto slide and increase the interval to 3. Also, we can increase the space between the images. Now it looks perfect. Alright, let us add the details button similar to that of the landing page. Click on insert and buttons and then add the blank button. Let me drag below the carousel and customize it properly. Add the text and customize the color and background by using the fill property. Also, disable the border and icon. Now, if we need a different color or text size while hovering and selecting this button, we need to also modify the settings from the state. Enable the action property and select the page to be navigated once clicked. And there we can see the details button is working as expected. Now, what if we don't need the tooltip on the button? Just click on the action property and disable the tooltip. If we need a custom text tooltip, we can enter the text as well. I have also added a few line shapes to make it look better. Just select the insert tab and click on shapes to add any shape. Now, suppose I search the text, which is not matching to any search results, instead of showing a blank visual, can we show, no results found? Yes, we can with just a simple DAX code. But this custom carousel visual has an issue, if we search for a non-matching text, it will still show the images. Once we go to any other page and come back it will display blank. Anyways, let me show you how to create and add this, no results found, text. Copying the search visual and adding the sample URL field for the search to work. Once we search and go to another page and come back to the same page, it will show blank. We need to display a card on top of any visual. Align the card to cover the visual. Create a measure. The logic will be if the count of the column is blank then show, no results, else we need to show blank space. So, the count will be null when there is no matching result. In that way, the else will work and shows the text.
Add this measure to the card and there we go the expected result is displayed. Disable the category label and format the text size. We need to disable the background as well to make it transparent. In this way, we can add the image carousel, and buttons, and also display a custom message when any filter is not matching to the dataset. Stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.